Welcome to Fiorano. What a magnificent place to be to bring you guys the first drive of the Ferrari 812 Superfast. So I'm actually going to start with the track first because, well, we're in the motherland. This place is super iconic. The car was developed here and I think it would only be right to, to saturate our senses in what it feels like on track. And then later on, we're going to go out on the road. Probably going to split this into two videos because let's face it, road and track experiences are so totally different. And I just think they each justify their own time. So I'm going to get behind the wheel and tell you guys how I feel and also importantly, how it compares to the F12. <laughs> certainly sounds amazing. Okay. Silly helmet aside, monumental moment of significance to be driving the very latest V12 from Ferrari in the motherland at Fiorano on track. Let's just see what it's all about. Woo. Yeah, so what have we got? 800 horsepower Ferrari V12. We've got a revised twin clutch gearbox, 30% faster upshifts, 40% faster downshifts, and we'll get to that shortly. <laughs> oh my lord, the torque is a wondrous thing. I'm sure you can hear those gear shifts, they're explosive. Oh wow! I mean it goes and it revs for days. So it now revs to 8,900 RPM, sir. Which from a front engine V12 is a monumental achievement. Of course taking this tight left hand hairpin is reminding me that we also have rear wheel steer. point of view is I regularly drive if you're a regular viewer of my channel you'll know I own an F12 comparing this with the F12 is well needless to say they have moved the game on they have really moved it on there's an area on this track where I have to lift off the gas because of FIA rules so let's take this opportunity to put it into race and find out what this thing what it's all about. Good Lord. Now listen to that shift. Oh, ho, ho. what a wonder. The traction. I mean, I'm coming out of there in second, three quarter throttle, no issue at all. And the weight transfer, through these S-bends, it just puts it down. It just puts it down. Braking, sensational. Now, I'm actually the fourth person, the fourth guy to, <laughs> to get in this car. And, well, we're not going slow. Look at this and how fast it picks up. It is a sensory occasion on every level. You can feel, actually, it's the first time that I've driven a car that you can feel the rear wheel steering working. Now, normally I would say that it's a compliment when you can't feel it working, but because this thing has such a long wheelbase, there's a lot 
be in control. Oh, those shifts are sensational. This is also the first time the Ferrari have used an electronic steering rack, which is making me at first a little bit nervous. Because Ferrari have always had such great steering feel, even though it's been quite light. at all. Now, what these guys have done with the electronic steering is they've dialed in some feedback. Now we know that's an artificial thing. But it's not scary. When it lets go, it's very progressive. And this, this is their fifth generation side slip angle control. SSC5 originally launched on the Speciali and the fact that they can apply it to a car that is a touring Berlinetta is out of this world fabulous. What a wonderful thing. So what can I say? I mean, me being a gearbox snob, I'm mostly taken this transmission it's it's a wonder it really really is I've always wanted I've always wanted to experience a Ferrari V12 with the downshift of the La Ferrari that you don't have to pay over a million pounds for and this is it now you're not gonna get quite the same mid to rear engine balance but by God has it got Phenomenal gear shift. It's still got fantastic balance. In fact, there's more weight at the rear of this car than there is at the front, which for a front engine car is a marvel. It's predominantly because they've positioned the uh, gearbox so far back. Yeah, sensational. I'm just gonna come into the pits and recuperate and let's just go over what this thing is all about. Whew. And what a place to sit. Check this out. Look at this view. It must be amazing when they have events on. Anyway, if you haven't watched the road video, the road drive, go and check that out. These are totally different animals on the road and it is predominantly, first and foremost, a road car, which is where I think this thing really comes into its own. As always guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.